Hello everyone, so welcome back. So we are here with another beautiful question on numbers. It is a, a very uh, uh, interesting question, very nice question and uh, it is somewhat similar to a previous cat question, beautiful cat question that appeared years ago. And uh, as usual, as always, so you are supposed to pause your screen, take a screenshot, solve the question on your own and then come back for the discussion. Fine, so your time starts now. Okay, so I hope all of you have solved this question or if you have not solved it, then pause the video and rewind the question solve. Okay, let's see now. It says n is a multiple of 12. Okay, we are talking of so certain number which is multiple of 12. Fine. Now, above 999. So, it is more than 999. That means minimum it should be 1000 or more than that. Right? And below 10,000. That is the range of this number. So, n is greater than 999 and less than 10,000. So basically it is a four digit number, right? It's a four digit number, right? Starting from 1,000 up to 9999, maximum it can go up to. And But it, it uh, must be a multiple of 12 as well. That was one condition so far. Uh, fine, let's proceed further. What are the other conditions? Such that, there's some other condition that when this n is divided by 100, when this n is divided by 100, right? 100 is a divisor now. So if you divide this number n by 100, what happens? The remainder is same as the quotient. Interesting, interesting. So many students get confused in that part as well, only, right? So what is the meaning of that? So as I have said repeatedly, read very carefully and reread, reread, again read. <laughs> and try to understand what is given. And uh, it's always better to write the things what is given, write them in the shorter form. So here we are uh, discussing a few terms. We are having a term co uh, remainder, quotient, we are dividing by some divisor. So what is the relationship between these terms, right? Numbers, divisor, quotient, remainder. What is the relation? The relationship is very simple that any number can be written as when it is divided by a certain divisor. So how many times we can uh, divide this number uh, by that divisor? It is quotient time. So whatever number it is, that is called quotient. So basically, in other words, division is nothing but subtraction, right? Division is nothing but subtraction. For example, I want to divide 17 by maybe 3. I want to divide 17 by 3, right? It means uh, how many times I can subtract 3 from 17. So 3, ek bar subtract kiya, do bar, teen bar, char bar, panch bar, maximum kitni bar kar sakte ho? 5 times, right? We are talking about the positive part only. We are not looking for the negative remainders right now. So 5 times you can subtract 3 from 17, right? So 5 becomes my quotient here, right? Now whatever is remaining, that becomes remainder. So we can write this 17 here as uh, this 3 times 5. 5 times you could have subtracted here and what is the remaining part? 2. So this 2 becomes remainder. So in general it comes out to be like that. So when a number is divided by a divisor D, so how many times I can subtract it from N? That is called quotient, right? So this is D times Q. And now whatever is remaining from which I cannot subtract uh, this divisor anymore, that is known as remainder. So that is a basic relationship between all these sums. Now in this question coming back here, it says, it says that uh, this number n which is multiple of 12 uh, and within this range, it is such that when this is divided by 100, so my divisor here is 100, right? So let me write it as 100 and what is q? I don't know. The remainder is same as the quotient. So basically remainder and quotient, they are same numbers. Let me write it as sub a, okay? So that means n is equal to 100 a plus a, right? Because quotient is A and remainder is also A, right? What is this value of A? I don't know, but they are same. The remainder is same as the quotient. I hope that is clear so far. So that was the information given here. And from here, we get to know that number is nothing but 101 times A. Okay, this number is 101 times A. Okay, so that means the number is multiple of 101, isn't it? So conclusion here is number is multiple of is multiple or divisible by of 101, isn't it? So from this condition which was given after this such that, we got to know this part, that number is multiple of 101, okay? In the first part of the sentence, it was given that number is multiple of 12 also. Number is multiple of 12, 
okay number is multiple of 12 uh, do we see any common factor among them certainly not that means number when i say number is divisible by or multiple of 12 as well as 101 so it is multiple of their lowest common multiple in this case it is simply product because there is nothing common so that means uh, combining these two terms combining these two terms what i can uh, what can i say that number is multiple of number is multiple of 101 into 12 right which is 1 2 1 2 is that okay so number is going to be 1 2 1 2 is multiple is there any other condition on this number yes there was a condition that the range we are having we are having this range this number is a four digit number that's very fine Chica, we have got enough information about this number. So this number is a four digit number within this range. This number was multiple of 12 that was directly given. And this number is uh, multiple of 101, which we concluded based on its divisibility by uh, 100 and regarding its quotient and remainder being same. So these are all information we are having. So conclusively, we are having this number, a four digit number, which is multiple of 1212. Fine. Okay, now what is the question? Question is, how many possible values can n assume? This is a very simple question now. It's very easy to calculate. So, 1, 2, 1, 2 ke multiples, 4 digit mein rakhna hai. You can write simply, there's nothing much to do now. So, 1, 2, 1, 2. If you multiply it by 2, there's the smallest number which satisfied. Next number would be 2, 4, 2, 4. <laughs> Isn't it? Next would be 3, 6, 3, 6. It is simply table of 12 now, right? So, it is going to be 12 into 1, uh, 12 into 2, up to 12 into 8, which is 96, 96, right? So there are exactly eight numbers, right? After 36, this is going to be 48, 48, 60, 60, and 72, 72, and 84, 84, and finally 96, 96. So these are the eight numbers. So we are having options here. So more than seven, exactly eight basically. So that is the answer here. I hope it is very clear. So in this question, uh, while discussing what we discussed, we discussed about the basic relationship between the number, divisor, quotient and the remainder that was one part. And based on that, we got this number so divisibility by 101. So if number is divisible by 101 as well as 12, so it is also divisible by their LCM, which in this case is directly multiplication because there was no common factor. Otherwise, it is generally LCM, right? It is multiple of their LCM. So that LCM comes out to be 1, 2, 1, 2 in this case. And uh, after that, we just know the pattern, right? We just know the pattern because number must be four digit number. Smallest number is 1, 2, 1, 2 itself. And it can be any of its multiple. And the range was given to us. Based on that, we found this answer, right? So again, as I have said uh, many times, we are not discussing a single question here. We are discussing a family of questions. So if you understand it thoroughly and uh, apply the concepts discussed, in other areas as well, you will see that how your problem solving skills will be increasing manifolds, multifolds, right? That's our desire, that's our wish and uh, I hope uh, you get benefited somehow by all these efforts. Thank you very much.